exercise routine, one is ready, you will be making a turn, flying very low above your head before landing on my head. Here he comes! Whoa! Well done, Baba! That was a fantastic flight. Now this afternoon, we will take all of you on a flight and journey through the wonderful and colorful world of birds. We hope that you will leave the show feeling amazed by our bird conservation champions and be inspired to take action for all our feathered friends across the world. Right now, we're going to highlight the natural behaviors of macaws. Now in the wild, macaws, they love to congregate on palm trees to feast on palm nuts. And if you look right up there, can you see some palm leaves? That's right. Everyone, um, turn right back there. Let's welcome the first bird, Gaia, our beautiful high-speed macaw. Ah! Everyone, look back once again. Ferrari and Lambo, our scarlet macaws, are enjoying this. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Right up here, right here. Now, well, some of you may have seen the trainers putting some treats and fruits right up there. Okay, that, that one is enjoying the fruit and nut attached to the palm leaf. Very nice. Now, after feeding in the wild, okay, this is what will happen. After feeding, the birds will then fly. Fly to rocky surfaces like this, for example. Okay, this is where they would lick up chalk or clay. And this will help them with the digestion of the unripe palm fruits or nuts that they have eaten. Pretty smart, don't you think? Okay. At least he's still enjoying his reward up there, but this will definitely be his next stop, okay? In the meantime, we have two more parrots joining us. Parrots are also known to gather fruit for their young ones, especially during the nesting season. These two parrots, they're going to have a little competition this afternoon. People on my right, can you support Barry the Green Wing Macaw? I need you to clap your hands and shout his name. Barry! Barry! Okay, people on this side, you support Corky! Corky, Corky, Corky! Very good. By the way, Corky is our scarlet macaw, alright? The louder you cheer, the faster your parrots will bring home the fruits. And they have four fruits to collect each, and they will bring it home to this hollow tree trunk. Supporters ready to cheer? On your marks, get set, go! Oh, 
friends. <laughs> Are they all over there? Very good. Well done, our San Antonians, everyone. <laughs> Very good. All right, now San Antonians, they are in the parrot family as well. Now, they can be found in South America, usually in huge flocks. Can you imagine them in large numbers? How colorful and noisy they will be. You heard them, right? They don't even need a microphone. Now, an interesting story to share is that the nest box in which they were released from, whoa, that nest box was built by students from Green Ridge Primary School. So in this way, we get the kids involved in conservation as well. They have already made their way back home. Our San Antonio, ladies and gentlemen. Very fast action this afternoon. Well done. Now every morning, the male and the female toucan would leave its nest to look for food to feed its young. And that's exactly what we have for you next. We're going to have Mr. and Mrs. Horn join us on stage. Now once again, the birds will be flying quite low above your heads. You can take pictures, but remain seated and hands down. Okay, this will be quite interesting. Okay, we'll wait for the first volunteer to get herself ready. There you go. Okay, people around her. Remain seated, you can take pictures, yeah? Okay, the first volunteer is ready! Mr. and Mrs. Horn, are you all set? Look at that hat over there, man. Now, Toko Tukens, Toko Tukens, they are the largest in the Tukan family, easily recognizable by that bright orange beak. You can see it from afar. There are people over there, I'm sure you can see the beak as well. Off they go! Very nice! Now, despite having such a large bill, toucans remain agile and maneuverable in flight. In the wild, they are even known to go for insects in mid flight without stopping. So, Evelyn, Evelyn will be tossing a piece of fruit for the toucans. Okay, one fruit each. Let's see if they can catch it. One, two, three. Mr. Horn! Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, one more fruit for Mrs. Horn. Ready? One, two, three. Up it goes! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That was a good catch. People over there, there was lots of action above their head, yeah? Now, it's really nice to be able to see this, but so close to you, but the population of toucans are declining in the wild due to poaching and deforestation. So, if you can, do support your local conservation programs. One last look at this lovely pair of birds. Now, it's time for them to head back home. Let's see who will lead the way this afternoon. Okay, home is that way. Ta-ta! You too! <laughs> Smart birds, aren't they? Our Toko Toucan, ladies and gentlemen! What differentiates parrots from other animals is the ability to copy sounds. In the wild, they need to do that for social communication. On stage, we have a yellow-named Amazon parrot, and these, these birds are very good at mimicking human speech. Yes, you want to say hello? <laughs> Very excited. How about introducing yourself? Tell them, tell them your name. Amigo! His name is Amigo. <laughs> Amigo, how else can you greet all these nice people? How are you? How are you? That was a very polite greeting. I'm fine, Amigo. Now, right now, he's going to impress all of us by counting from 1 to 10. Listen up, okay? First, he will do it in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was a perfect turn. Well done, Amigo. Well done. To top that off, he will be counting in a different language. Let's see, he can count just as well in Chinese. A guest comes to visit. Amigo, can we hear that song? Sing in Mandarin. Tune 
and it originates from Indonesia. Rasa sayang, feelings of love. If I were to translate it, amigo, can we listen to Rasa sayang? Rasa sayang, eh, rasa sayang, eh, eh, di hati ada rasa sayang. I like that last syllable. Hey. All right, last but not least, an English song. But before he sings, today is the 18th of May, right? 18th of May. Anyone's birthday today? Let me start from this section. Oh, I see hands already. Birthday! Happy birthday. Very good. How about anyone from here? Birthday? Very good one. Okay, birthday. Is it your birthday, young lady? No, sorry, mommy says no. <laughs> Okay, okay, anybody else right here? Birthday! Today! Okay, anyone else here? How about here? Wow! Wow, so many! Okay, okay, if it's your birthday today, the next song goes out to you, okay? More than seven or eight in the crowd are celebrating their birthdays today, amigo. Happy birthday to you! So do bear that in mind, alright? Next, we will be joined on stage by birds that will show you how loyal hondos can be. Vicky, our great pied hondo, will be joining us on stage. Huge bird, isn't she? Now, great pied hondos, they are one of the largest flying hondos that we can find in this region. Can you hear her? That's the vocalization of a great pied hornbill. In the wild, when the hornbills wants to nest, okay, the female they will look for cavities in trees. Everyone, look at that hut over there. Can you see a nest box? Yes. Now that nest box is similar to what we would give our hornbills to nest right here in the Jurong Bird Park. Excuse me, there. All right. Now, I'll be coming a little closer so everyone remains seated, okay? Now, Vicky will check out the nest box. There you go. Okay, if she really likes it, she will go on in. Ah. She's checking it out. Oh, and in she goes. Now, what happens in the wild is that the female hornbill would then seal up the nest using soil, regurgitated food, and even their own droppings. Now, Vicky, if you like the nest, would you like to seal it up now? Ooh. That was really fast. Vicky, are you hiding in there? Where are you? Oh, there she is. Everyone, look back there to welcome Alfred, our great pine hornbill. This is our male great pine hornbill. So can you imagine in the wild, the female, the female hornbill will be in the nest. Okay, she will either be in the nest for three, sometimes up to four months. So during this time, the male hornbill has to find food to feed the entire family. Now right here in the Jurong Bird Park, we have successfully bred hornbills. Um, using nest boxes just like these, oriental pipe hondos to be more precise, and we have even released some of them into Bukit Timah Nature Reserve in Singapore. And together with the Singapore National Park Board, we have released some oriental pipe hondos here in the Jurong Bird Park. So when you're walking around the park, do keep your eyes open for them. You just might be lucky enough to see some free-flying oriental pipe hondos, all right? Alfred! It's time for us to leave the stage. Oh, look at that huge wingspan. Here he comes. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay. He missed me then. Let me reposition myself. Alfred, this way. And the landing. Our hornbill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Eileen and our hornbills. Now comes the time to simply enjoy the bird's flight. 
If you'd like to volunteer, raise your hands and my friends will pick you. Now look at their strong wings as they fly past you. This allows them to swoop through the trees and branches in the rainforest of South America. Unfortunately, their wild friends are losing their homes at a rate of one football field a day due to human development. Now we can all help these beautiful macaws by choose using less of everything. Even better, if we can reuse our things, buy second-hand or recycled products, this will reduce the making of new products and the clearing of our bird habitats. Well, looks like our volunteers are ready. Off goes Patina! in flying. Now these two birds, they are going to fly from two different ends of the stage and try to meet in that sense of who at the same time. Now volunteers, are you ready? Patina ready? Ready? Go! Now finally, we are going to try something more challenging this time around. Hey Steph, what's inside that bag? Whoa, look at that everyone! That's a really small hoop! Now are you sure Vega can dash through that hoop? She's very confident. Now of course, they have streamlined bodies, which allows them to fly through the dense vegetation to escape from potential dangers and predators. Alright, now for this leg, I need everybody to be seated down and please do not reach out to touch the bird. So let's just wait for our volunteer to get ready. Okay? Alright, now everyone. Shh. Vega needs to concentrate. Ready, Vega? And off she goes. They can be gentle too. So with me here, I have a drink coupon. Now, who wants this coupon? Raise your hand. Oh, all right. How about that lady over there? The one in pink. Yes, you, ma'am. Yes, you. Okay, I just need you to stand up on your bench, ma'am. Go back to your seat and stand up on your bench. Yes. All right. Now, stand up on your bench. Raise your arm, palm facing the sky. Okay, now, are you afraid of birds? Of birds? Now, a bird will be delivering this coupon to you, a very big one. Are you ready? She's very confident. Now, let's welcome Sassy, our sulfur crested cockatoo. Sassy, see that lady over there? Fly the coupon all the way up to her, Sassy. Put the coupon down and you fly back to me. Now, ma'am, is the coupon still in one piece? Yes, it is. So with that coupon, you can exchange it for a free drink at the terrace kiosk, which is just a short walk from the pool's amphitheater. Thank you. One more, one more volunteer. Wow, I see a lot of hands this time. But this time, I got nothing to give away. Yes, this time, I need someone who can show me money. Money in a note form. The first one to show me money will do this. Anybody? Show me the money. Yes. Okay. How about you? Yes, ma'am. The one in pink. How much is that? Two dollars. Okay. I need to stand up on your bench, ma'am. Fold the money into half. Fold it into another half. Okay. And then hold it in between your thumb and your index finger. Money pointing upwards. Like this. At the side. Hold it to the side. There you go. Alright, ma'am. No matter what happens, 
do not move, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, ma'am, would you like to come down? Oh, there you go. Stand up on your bench. Is he ready, Saad? Okay, now, Sassy, you see that lady over there? She has money. Now, what do you do when you see money, Sassy? Yes, Sassy, fly all the way up to her. Make the money, Sassy. Take the money, come on, and you fly back to me. Ma'am, don't move. See where your money goes. It was in my pocket. Okay, now, ma'am, you can keep smiling and sit down. Thank you. One more volunteer, one more. A short while. Now, if you'd like to contribute, okay, if you'd like to help the local birds and animals in Singapore, come on down after the show, contribute any amount into this box into the conservation fund. Now, the conservation fund helps the local birds and animals in Singapore, such as the breeding of our local hornbills, and in return, you get Sassy's postcard. All right, now, ma'am, I need you to stand up on your bench once again. Yes, yeah, stand up on your bench. Stretch up your arm, palm facing the sky. Alright, now Ma'am Sassy will be returning you the money. Come on Ma'am, smile, your money is coming back. Okay Sassy, be a good girl, return the money to her. Yes, smile all the way up there Sassy. There you go, put the money down. And Ma'am, grab hold of the money Ma'am and Sassy, you fly back to me. Can we give our sporting volunteer a round of applause? Now, Sassy here has done a fantastic job and more is all the way back to the lane that way. Over there, Sassy. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All the way to the lane now. Okay, all the way back to the lane. You gotta fly that. There. there you go. Thank you, Sassy. Now, coming out, I told my friends who will be helping me put up enrichment pools for our grand finale. Now, remember the monkey fees we showed you earlier? Okay, now we have more of them tied into the enrichment poles right over here. So I'm pretty sure the birds, they have amazed you and maybe even made you laugh. But please do not forget all the bird conservation champions you've met today. Now we can all help these birds by choosing the paper or wood that we buy comes from recycled materials so that less of their forest homes will be cleared. Now you and I have the power to choose what we buy so let's make the right choice and make a difference. Well, look like looks like everything is all set. Thank you, guys. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are gonna take you on a journey where no other show has gone before. We will be bringing out about 80 birds on stage. So let's start counting. First man from Africa, the great white pelican. We have the sport bill pelicans. And now from Eastern Europe, we have four Dalmatian pelicans over here, guys. Now this, this is about eight birds on stage. Back to Africa, the birds with their sexy long legs. Keep your eyes back there for a great
Now, in the meantime, you are more than welcome to come forward, take pictures of the birds we have on stage while we usher them back home. Now, the next show right here at the Bird Park will be the 4 p.m. Kings of the Sky show at the Hawk Walk. So, you have been a fantastic audience, and on behalf of our very generous sponsor, the Singapore Press Holdings Foundation, who has been supporting us all these years, thank you for.